Hi, this is Julian Satina. So, uh, Louis Armstrong basically discovered his love of music uh, while he was in the Colored Waves, Home for Boys. And uh, after this, uh, he was uh, soon picked up by his mentor, Joe the King Oliver, and who really guided him and pushed him to pursue his music goals. Uh, basically, why uh, Louis Armstrong was such a pivotal in influence during the Harlem Renaissance was he added a new sense of style to jazz and uh, <clears throat> uh, introduced and really popularized the form of uh, scat singing where you try to mimic uh, other instruments and whatnot by using your voice and having that sort of pizzazz through uh, vocals and he had a really unique sense of style with both his vocals and his playing uh, trumpet which <clears throat> really, uh, <clears throat> sorry, but uh, that really just kind of established himself in his own style in this genre of jazz, but uh, yeah, and as uh, you read through the first area of the timeline, uh, he really had a hard life growing up working phys really hard physical labor jobs and uh, whatnot, and he had to move around and not really having a steady home. His father uh, walked out when he was really young. But, yeah, uh, so just basically adding this new sense of style and such an iconic figure in, during the Harlem Renaissance, uh, this new sense of style that was created by an African-American really created and added a sense of pride among the African-American community uh, uh, because of this. And since he was such a great inspiration, that really uh, kind of made a camaraderie uh, within the jazz community and African-American community and kind of combined to this. But, uh, yeah, and basically, mm, he had to look past all his adversities and whatnot, racism, and uh, was looked up to by a lot of uh, popular African-American youth and just American youth in general because he was such a major influence in pop culture. And, yeah.